The search is intensifying tonight for the person who opened fire on several people outside a Northwest Baltimore convenience store. Six people are shot, two are killed. And WJZ has obtained surveillance video of the deadly encounter. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters downtown right now. Rick Ritter shows us what the video reveals and has the very latest on the search for a suspect. Rick? Mary, two people are dead. Another is fighting for his life. The hell of gunfire was all caught on video. And we want to warn you, what you're about to see is graphic. Outside the Stop One convenience store in Northwest Baltimore, this surveillance video shows the victims with their backs turned to the corner, just moments before they're gunned down execution style. This person had an intent to kill, and he went there uh, very methodically and did that. Shots ring out around 6 o'clock Wednesday night. In video obtained by WJZ, you can see the gunman turn the corner of the store and start firing killing two people and injuring four others. I was sitting here in the office and I see bam, 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 bam. Mike Issa was inside his office. He shot everybody. He didn't care. He shoot everybody who was sitting in the front of the store. Issa describes the moments after the shooting when some were trying to help those hit by bullets to keep breathing. He say, um, stay strong, stay strong. God to the ambulance coming. At this hour, the gunman is still on the loose. Police were back on scene Thursday canvassing the area. They're unsure if the shooting is gang related, but believe it's likely an act of retaliation related to another murder just days ago. These folks all know one another. This is intertwined. Family members know who these folks are. Pleading for the public's help to turn the killer in. We understand that there's a palpable fear in the community, but the fear should be of this murderer that's walking the streets right now. Again, one victim remains hospitalized in critical condition. There have been six homicides alone this week. There have been 290 so far this year in Baltimore. Live at City Police Headquarters tonight, I'm Rick Ritter. WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Anyone with information on the gunman or the shooting is urged to call Baltimore City Police immediately.